Hello, this is Ron Henderson, President and Broker of Multi Real Estate Services in Los Angeles. There's been a lot of discussion about when the Federal Reserve will kick up their interest rates and what effect it's going to have on mortgage rates. The correlation may not be what you expect. The Fed mainly implements monetary policy largely by adjusting two rates the federal funds rate which is the interest rate that the banks charge each other for overnight loans of federal funds, which are the reserves held by the banks at the Fed. They also directly set the discount rate, which is the interest rate for discount window lending. Overnight loans the member banks borrow directly from the Fed. These are literally short-term overnight rates, and even though they can stimulate or slow down the economy, they don't directly have anything to do with the 30-year mortgage rate. Here's a chart that can diagram several elements that can show you the interactions between interest rate vehicles. It goes from 2005 to 2015, and the interest rate from 0 to 8%. The vehicles shown are the Fed Funds Rate, the 5-year CD, the 10-year Treasury, the Prime Rate, and the 30-year Fixed Rate Mortgage. Here's the story and the correlation between the rates. In 2005 and 2006, a combination of Greenspan and Bernanke as Federal Reserve Chairman increased the Fed rate to slow down the economy and overheated real estate market. As far as a direct correlation, you can see how the Fed funds and the prime rate track directly, but not the other rates. As a generality, the prime is 3% above the Fed rate, so when the Fed changes their rate, automatically the prime adjusts. The other rates are market-driven, and the Fed has no control over them. The 10-year note and the 30-year fixed-rate mortgage track directly. Even though a mortgage is a 30-year loan, the historic average life of a mortgage is around 7.5 years because borrowers refinance or they sell the property. Investors of mortgage-backed securities look for yields that correlate with the 10-year note rate plus the additional margin, taking into account the higher risk factors of a mortgage. Here are some interesting areas to make note of. During the 2006-2008 time frame, there are areas of inverted yields. That's when the short-term rates were actually higher than the long-term rates. You can see where, at this point, the overnight Fed funds rate was higher than the 5-year CD and the 10-year note. In fact, early in 2008, the yield curve was absolutely flat with the Fed's funds rate, the 5-year CD, and the 10-year note rates all at just under 4%. The bottom line, the mortgage and long-term interest rates are market-based and determined by the big money out there. International and domestic investors, pension, hedge, and mutual funds. You can see in the chart, even with the Fed funds rate at zero since 2009, there's been plenty of long-term rate volatility. There are several reasons why I follow the Federal Reserve, but when it comes down to mortgage rates, you can see there's a lot more at play. If you're in the Los Angeles region, have any specific questions, always feel free in contacting me through my website, mres.com, or the phone number or email address shown below. Till next time, take care.